I will break your glasses with my bare hands if you do not get back inside your house. Do you understand me? You Paula, you come rip. Sick of Karen steamrolling everyone with their entitlement? Us too. But in this video, we're flipping the script. Get ready to witness the satisfying moments where brave individuals stand up to Karens, leaving them stunned and speechless. Karen follows a lady home and screams at her, accusing her of hitting her car. When the neighbor steps in to help and tells her to let the cops handle it, Karen freaks out, screams at him, and spits on him. Out of the car. Out of the car, we'll break the window. Out. Get out of the, get out of the vehicle. Hey. The police are here. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get out of the car, the police are coming. You have to get out, you will give a statement. Get out. Or, or hide in there. Or you can hide in there. She's being smart, because you're being aggressive. Yeah, I am, because I just got hit, you idiot! I sat there and you, watched you, it. You try almost getting hit twice on the road within 30 seconds, crash your car, get raped, and then handle this shit, man. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Love Telling you me too. to calm down? God bless you. You insane? God bless your stupid sweetheart. Get the fuck inside your house. Hey. Hey, what? Hey, what? And be good. Hey, what? And the cops will deal with it all. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm here. Okay, well, be decent. Back the fuck up. I am. You're the no, only one doing it. You are not. I will break your glasses with my bare hands if you do not get back inside your house. Do you understand me? I'm just the witness and so it all. Then shut the f up and do not talk shit. Leave it alone. You shut up. You shut up. Stupid bitch. F your family, bitch. F your face. Hey, we're only here to help everybody. And you're just no, you're not. You're world. talking shit. You are standing there talking shit. Like a Never stupid, ignorant white man. The black woman comes up, sympathetic immediately. And I am. Immediate. No, she is sympathetic immediately and helpful. And you are not. Stop talking. Thank you. He is sympathetic and helpful. You are not. Stop talking. All right. Have a good day. I am, mother My insurance rates aren't going up. His are. You know how the law works? You, cash. you know how the law works? I know how it works. Do you? So ask for cash money instead of clean. Then get the then get them out of their car. How much damage? Look at the no. Look at the entire car. The insurance company will assess how much damage there is to my car. He will pay. That is the law. Simple. What's the damage? Simple as that. Look at the car, you idiot. Get back here. Look at the tire print on the back of my bumper. You goddamn idiot, do you have eyes? $200 glasses and you can't f***ing see? They're 800, right here. Dumb f***. <clears throat> Talk sh to me after I get hit. She just spit on What's you. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Ain't no spit on you. That's not an assault charge. Hey. I yeah? Where is, no, where is it? No, where is it? Where is it? No, where, where are your cut scrapes and bruises? Hey, I'm where are they? Five feet. Yeah, no, where are your cut scrapes and bruises all over your hands away. from me? Yeah, no, where are they? Your cut scrapes and bruises on your hand? Where are no they? No where, where are they? On your body? For you. you don't have them. Eh, wrong. Hey. Eh, gracious. Wrong. Your health is good. Stop speaking. Wait. Eh, wrong. Stop. Please, wait for the You time. are incorrect. Stop speaking. Where the f*** are the cops, man? Get them out of their car. Get them out of their car. Get them out of their car or I'm going to break the glass it's right now. Jesse, that's aggressive. Yeah, that is. Yep. She hit, they hit me. Are you f***ing insane? Do you have eyes and a f***ing brain? Of course I'm aggressive and mad. My car is ruined. Do you it's, have a functioning f***ing prefrontal away. cortex? Thank My you. God, can you think? You have a blessed day. Can you I think hope your mom's for okay. five seconds, critically, 
<laughs> and you know you're oh, wrong, yeah, and know. you're sitting here getting f***ing clowned. Punk b Where the f*** are the cops? Okay. <laughs> Where are the cops? Where the f*** are the cops? Call the cops! Someone else put in a second call! What the f*** is this? You're sitting there filming instead of calling anyone for help? I already did you and they did. I did and you they haven't. did. You did not make that phone call. I have been watching you this entire time. You are incorrect. I walked from there and no. I called it. Call. Call again. Okay. Call again. Mr. Karen accuses a lady of stealing and threatens her by getting in her face and flashing lights at her. He acts like a tough guy from the Expendables movies carrying too many weapons and won't let her go. This guy thinks I'm stealing. Yep. You got items on you and I need those Wait, items back. I, I don't if you do not give me those items back, you're going to be detained and you're going to go to jail. Don't touch me. They've seen you well, on camera. See me on camera doing what? I have a job to do. It's not personal. It is personal because nope. you're accusing me of stealing. They watch you on camera. Watch me on they camera. They watch you on camera. Bring up the footage. They're, te they're telling me right now that you Bring have items on you. Bring up the footage. They're telling me right now you have items. Bring up the footage, please. So here's the deal, okay? I'm going to work with you, okay? If you There's give me no the item, working. this, is, it. this is your only chance. This is your only I'm chance. I literally, okay? Okay. okay, let's go talk to the guy then. Don't tell me what to do. Who are you? Look at these people accusing me of stealing from CVS. I came here to get one prescription. Get the I don't know what the hell you're talking about. What are you talking about? Okay. So who here called the police on me? Because Nobody. apparently, okay, so why you have items on you and I have to check you. What items? I'm here I literally just, for my listen, Adderall listen. prescription. Here's, here's what I need. Okay, we can make a big deal if you want to. Make here's it a big deal. For the camera. It's either you're yep. calling the police. No, ma'am. That's not how it works. You, you don't get to make the rules. You don't dictate what happens here, okay? okay. So here's what's going to happen, okay? Whatever. You're going to show me that you got nothing in your pocket. I'm not showing you shit because I don't have anything. Then you're going to get detained. I literally got off from then work you're gonna from get Amazon. And that's just how it works. You're I'm sorry. accusing me. Listen, I'm not, not accusing you. They're accusing you, and I have a job Who's they? My management, my superiors, Bring store manager. Bring him down here Listen. then. Show me the footage that here's you guys what, here's, have. Okay, still. here's what you need to do. I literally here's came what you in need here to do. Here's for my prescription. Options. Here are your choices. And you guys are here are your choices. Here are your choices. Here are your choices. You need to show me that you're, there's nothing in your pockets because they're saying you that there's stuff in your pockets. Stop walking <laughs> no. away. Stop walking away. Or what? You're going to get detained and you're going to go to the ground. And you're going to get it's sued. Okay. <laughs> I got a job to do. Listen, do not I walk past also me. have a job to do. Listen, 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 <laughs> Which listen. Nope. Leaving I need my this items door. back. Listen, I need my items what back. The, I don't know what the hell you're talking then about. Show me what's in your pockets. My wallet? No, I don't and care about your then, wallet. They just care about the items you. that you took and that you put into what your items? pockets. What items? What items? The items that they're saying that you took. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Okay. I literally well, stand in just line clarify. for like you're 30 saying minutes. You're saying you didn't. So let me give you the benefit of the doubt. So clarify, right? I'm just going to look. You go ahead and you open it up yourself. I'm, I'm not clarifying anything for you. Yeah, you have to. No, I don't. That's hope. Karen freaks out over a sign in her neighbor's yard, so she threatens her neighbors to remove it, because clearly that's how we handle conflicts in the hood. Can I help you? I actually I want to talk to you. This is Elba. I want to show you something. I'm sorry, I can't come to the door right now. Get out your neighborhood by law. It's section 5.20. No sign shall be in the yard. If you don't take this Harris Biden shit down, I will sue you. And I was going to have you sell my house, but that's not going to happen now, and you're going to lose a lot of business because of this crap. You get out your neighborhood association bylaws. Section 5.20. This racist guy on the plane was texting his family about feeling uncomfortable sitting next to a black woman. But the woman saw the text and didn't let it slide. She confronted him for his actions, and the guy said a fake sorry. I wasn't going to say anything. I wasn't going to say anything, but I decided I want you to feel as uncomfortable as I do. And I want you to know that I saw your text messages, and I think you're disgusting. What text message? You know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm not, I'm not going to repeat it because everybody doesn't need to know, but I want you to know that I know, I saw you, and I think that you're disgusting. You don't have anything to say to that, right? Yeah, I, I didn't think so. 
and, and speaking of, yeah, yeah. You, you should. And speaking of airlines weeding people out, maybe if they raise prices, you you know, maybe you wouldn't be able to afford to sit with your family. That way they don't have to sit next to black people. Okay? okay. Yeah. No, yeah, you're not, you don't have to be sorry to me. You're sorry because I saw it. But I want you to feel as uncomfortable as I do sitting next to you. Okay, I am. Uh-huh. You should be. This dad confronts an employee who made a joke about his 12-year-old daughter buying pads. The employee acts like a jerk and tries to shrug it off, like it wasn't a big deal. But the dad gives him a lesson he won't forget anytime soon. My wife and daughters just came up here and bought some pads for my daughters who are 12 years old. And you cracked the joke and embarrassed my wife and embarrassed my daughters. You think that's okay? I wasn't trying to embarrass anybody. You cracked a joke about buying pads where 12 year old girls are buying pads. They just started the period. I wasn't making a joke about them. What were you making a joke about? I had said, do you need a bag? And when she had said yes, I was like, what do the neighbors think? Yeah. How do you think that's going to make somebody feel? Especially 12 year old girls. You have a, a, a track record of running your mouth up here, man. And you keep doing it. Corporate's gonna get called. You ain't gonna have no job. You understand that? Yes. And you're also gonna have a bone to pick with me. You live here in Barnum? Because I do. And I see you up here all the time, man. And I'm not cool with it. My daughters are embarrassed, crying. My wife is embarrassed. And I'm not alright with it, man. Keep your mouth shut at work. Quit cracking jokes. I come in here all the time, man. You're always running your mouth, dude. It ain't cool. Keep your mouth shut and do your job. You ain't nobody's friend. You're here to check people out, give them their stuff, give them their change, give them their receipt, and let them go on about their business. Nobody has time for all your other You understand? I'm sorry that you feel that way. Do you understand what I'm saying? I hear what you're saying. Do you understand it? That's not cool, man. When you got 12-year-old yeah. girls coming up here with pads, oh, you don't crack jokes, homie. You don't crack jokes. You need to say, I'm sorry, and shoot the you don't crack jokes, man. You you do this all the time, dog. You've had complaints called on you multiple times. You know that. You know that. It's not cool, man. You need to cut it out. Cause you you picked the nerve with me, and I'm I'm pretty upset about it, man. I need to speak with you, please. My wife and daughters came in here about five ten minutes ago, and they were buying pads for my twelve year old daughters who just started the period, you know? So they're already embarrassed about it. This dude talks, runs his mouth way too much all the time, and y'all know that. They're buying pads, he asks, they say, he said, do you need a bag? So they say yes, and then he says, well, what do you think the neighbors would think if they saw that? 12-year-old kids, man, they're embarrassed, almost crying when they get home. My wife is embarrassed, and even when they came in here, they told them, they told my wife, I hope you don't say nothing. Cause they know how he is. Yeah. That's bullshit, man. I'm pissed, and I need a number to for a corporate or something because that's not cool. Okay. Like, they're already uh, our embarrassed. Regional manager's number is right on the door. The All district right. manager's number is right on the door. I asked you if you understand what I was saying, and you said you hear what I'm saying. So that's what, all you said. What did he say? You said. What did he say? Yeah. What was the main thing he said? Well, like tell he tell him what you said. What did you say? They had, I had asked them, do you need a bag? They had said yes, and I'm friendly, said, what do the neighbors think if they see you with that? Why would you say that? Yeah, what, what, why would you say that? That's what anybody thinks about a 12 year old. Dude. It's not a joke, man. You don't that's, joke around. First of all, you don't joke around you know with, with women. Well, right? that's, that's not cool. You don't joke around with women like that, period. Especially children, There's man. Daddies that Children, man, these are kids. Twelve-year-old kids, man, like. at home in birds. You don't think they're I didn't already? Tell you to leave a twelve-year-old alone one time. Sorry, but okay, man. Yeah, that's bad, man. I got my daughters here. Yeah, it's not cool, man. It ain't cool, dude. This son catches his dad cheating on his mom, talking to another woman in the restaurant. The son starts yelling at him, but the dad just acts like he's innocent. Run around on my mom like that? No, no, I'll cause a huge. I'll fuck you around here, you, you, you need to leave. You need to get the No. My dad's running around on my mom, and I'm about to clean his clock. I'm not running around. We sat down here to talk. Oh, bull. Y'all been going to the bars together? Yeah, I'll take it outside right now. 
I'm serious, and you too. I'll take both y'all. Do it, do it, please, please call the cops because Paula, leave. I'm tired of you. Next time, hell is coming for you, bitch. I ain't kidding. You were with me through my divorce because someone turned around on me being a two-faced mother. What? I'm serious. Oh, whole f***ing chick. I'll be going to guitars together and everything else. I got f***ing pictures of it. F*** you. I'm done with you. Kent knows about it too. F*** you, Paula. You f***ing bitch. I'm ready. I'm serious. Hell, f***ing badass. F***ing around on mom like that. That's some s***. Please. 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 Karen was cussing at the restaurant employees, treating them like her personal servants. But a guy steps in, confronts her, and puts her in her place. You guys are McDonald's. You guys are McDonald's, okay? You guys are McDonald's, okay? World star. Oh, you come over here yelling over a goddamn coke? Wake the up. It's the new world, woman. I wake the up. Yeah, wake up. You come over trying to boast that you make more than them? What kind of is that? What kind of is that? Hey, you don't like it too bad. You don't like it. Go around the This drunk couple tries to board the plane, but the flight attendant won't let them in. So, Karen causes a scene by filming and harassing them, thinking it'll help them get on the plane. Car wheels with him. No, you can walk away. You cannot come on this aircraft. You are shaking and I can see it. And because you guys are jeopardizing the safety of this aircraft right now. Okay. So I'm threatened by both of you. Well, that's unfortunate. That's Let's go. The sheriff's department is on the Now you hear from my home. I told you. I didn't want this thing to get escalated, but you wanted to know. No, Let's go ahead. I want a sobriety test. I am sober. I work with children. I was doing cartwheels, and yeah. back then, you need to get out of here. You do. Otherwise, I'm going to kill you. So you are reporting, right? Her. It's not going to help you. The reporting, you reporting is not going to help. You are wasting the situation. No, reporting will help. Okay. You got you are you are what to you. What behavior did you see? You cannot in step any closer to me. I'm not. I stepped to the side. What uh -huh. behavior did you, you see? If you step in any closer to me, we're going to have problems. I'm not stepping closer. What behavior of mine did you see? What behavior did I see? Yeah. You are flipping all over the ground. You can't you you're engaging, you're loud, you want attention from everybody. All all of us. You're, the whole entire crew saw it. All of us are in agreement that you cannot Putting on the ground, you mean the car wheels I was doing with the children that I met on the flight? As I was watching you drink your alcohol. Like I and, said, I you, did have one glass of wine. Right, and so because you've admitted it, I'm not going to allow you to come on this aircraft today. So anybody that's had one glass cannot get onto this no, flight? No, anybody who's exhibiting behaviors of being intoxicated is not allowed to come onto an aircraft. Do and I seem intoxicated to you right now? Yeah, you do. Because you aren't following any sort of instructions that any of us are asking you to do. Because I have kids at home that I'm waiting to get back to. Well, that's unfortunate. It is. It is. Because you should have been behaving yourself up in the, the, and you should have been behaving yourself here. You should have been listening to him. So that's. No, the, no, you made your decision. 
Right, because her behavior no, right. right, because her behavior was that of somebody who appears to be intoxicated. I, I didn't realize that you were an expert in I don't have to be. I don't have to be. I have I have guidelines that we follow in our manual and you can actually look it up in the on the FAA.gov. Somebody did. And she's recording me and so I want that deleted. No, so, somebody will hey, be I'm not gonna she's, she's recording me, and that's also against FARs. That's FARs. also against the F FARs. Federal Aviation Regulation. Okay. Say that you have to have per my permission to be filmmaking. You know that, right? Yeah. Okay, let's so, go. I want I want law enforcement to deal with both of them, yes, and please. I want that to be deleted immediately. You can't make that demand, but thank you. I, I can't. I, I am not intoxicated. Your inability to walk away is saying that you are. It's the exact opposite, but this will You're not be the... Jealous Karen couldn't stand her neighbor having fun with their family barbecue, so she decides to rain on their parade. Literally. She starts spraying water to ruin their good time, but the guys gave her a taste of her own medicine. You know, your sh came over our stuff. Just don't spray us. We have babies over here. You're a <laughs> you feeling better? Does that make you happy? Who is this weirdo? Wait, you forgot. What's the problem? Hey, stop. We have a child over here. We do this sleeping night. You can wait until we're done. Wait, coppers. There's coppers everywhere. Oh, coppers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> such a hey. on TikTok. How rude can a person be? She's rude. Your mother must not be home. Michael, take her home. <laughs> so Subscribe, like, and tap here to watch more Karens freaking out in public.